Hello, hello, welcome back for some more Eternal Darkness. Um, as we left off, we had just explored the temple with... Um, I forget his name, oh my god. Um, but anyways, we explored the temple, got the Mantarak rune. We gained the ability to summon trappers. Um, we could make another spell too, actually, but... Basically, it's like a binding that would... Let me see if I can figure it out. Go back to this. Ruins. New spell. So I think it would be... Creature. I can't remember. It's one of these with our tech. Um, and it will force it to like sort of bend to your will and attack each other. It's creature area. No? Okay. Creature. Project. Dispel. No. <laughs> I don't remember. Ooh, what is protect? this do? That may, that may have been it, actually. Um, Alright, so we're looking for the comic book. It goes somewhere around here. Yep, there it is. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the Tomb of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden behind this book. With the book removed, a secret cache is revealed. Inside is the heart of Mantarok, encased in glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Yes. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. Alright, so now... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We can also go up here to that little window. And open that shit up. See, we did already see them come in here, right? Yeah. And this was still... That's blue. Okay. So, let's just spell magic. It's green. Wait, I'm kind of curious, real quick. What does dispel magic with Mantarok do? I don't know. <laughs> Magical window fades away. The piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in midair. Here's to be a chapter page. Heresy. Jesus. That is a big monster. I am not your fool today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. Alright. So, that should give you a little hint about what's going to happen. Um, how do I get in here? It's not even the rest of the room. I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, it's still too dark. I forgot. Um. 
Alright. Is there anything else that we could do right now? Doesn't matter. I don't think so. Yeah, you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> is the clock still the same? Yes, it is. Alright. Let's go back into the next page. <laughs> Dang it. Mantrax's heart pulses with unholy life. Although the corpse god itself festers elsewhere, its power resides within this artifact. I th think we should be okay. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. All right, time to hang out with Paul Luther. Hey, look, it's me in real life. <laughs> Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. Monk looks evil as hell, bro. Guess that's the point. You know, once a dude's hair is receded back that far, I actually think it looks okay on them. Like, yeah, he could shave it, but it's okay. Like, it works okay with him, with his face. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> um, a nice cathedral. Door is locked. A little Gregorian chants are kind of cool. Oh For boy. The love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah, is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But Hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. I guess the bone thingy dudes are here too. A somber portrait of a monk stares icily from the wall. Something about those grim staring eyes sparks doubt and suspicion in Paul. Is this the face of a holy man? Ooh, emerald. Painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight, as though it has some value beyond being a precious gem. 
Yeah, give it to here. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. All right. Thank you, Mr. Monk. Ah, time for us to get the Tomb of Eternal Darkness. Notice there's not a statue for the other person because he didn't get taken. Interesting though, as he can see the future by the tomb. Um, okay, we have a meditation rod. Each meditation rod is a small staff used as a focus for meditative prayer. Using it will allow Paul to meditate and regain some sanity. We really don't care about that at all anymore. The emerald's deep green surface reflects the light inside it perfectly. Its cut is the work of a master craftsman. But obviously, he is a monk, so. Doesn't really have any weapons. Okay. Have a look around in here. Check out this organ. I think the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul who has no musical talent. I could probably play the organ if there was some music to play. Okay. This area is a little fuzzy in my brain. I remember this this place that well. Altars bereft of holy adornment, no crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. All is disturbed by this site. What faith does the order practice? I believe this lets you go downstairs. Yeah. Oh wait, is that something over there? Crossbow bolts? Hell yeah, baby. I just need a crossbow. The cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from age, varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. Okay. Alright, let's go to the bell tower then. Oh, he gets tired easy. Yeah. I can barely run the length of this cathedral without being out of breath. That's okay, though. Here it is. I was like, where's the door? Kinda hard to see. 
Now we're up top. It's kind of a nice view. A skeleton! I can't fight a skeleton. I'm just a monk. Oh, I've got some crossbow bolts. I guess I could throw them at them and hope one of them sticks into them. <laughs> I don't think it worked very well. All is nervous about ringing the bell, fearing his own capture. It is the custodian's task to ring the bell at appropriate times. Perhaps you'll be later. You'll be by to later to ring it. Yeah. Dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here. And I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother. May your faith protect you. Alright, we got the old tower key. Now we can go back down. Just ignore that zombie. That custodian's pretty freaking brave though, to be just like... Chilling out. I would have left a long time ago. Okay. So you can also take this torch here. Better than nothing, I guess. Um. Ah, here's the crossbow. Okay. Heck yeah. Only one bullet. Rat carries robes and cloaks for ceremony of use. As Paul draws the robes back, something tumbles from inside. Oh, we got the podium key, okay. Good, 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 good. The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy, a host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings. Disemboweled by mock demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. A wash basin. It's honestly, against like the minor ones, it's probably better to just use the torch, like the minor zombies, I mean. Old tower. Could go downstairs, I guess. Where's the podium? I'm sorry, let me look at the map. I just want to see something real quick. Okay. We go up there. Down there. Okay, I think we have to go to 
the old tower, but let's just see what's down here real quick. Oh, some more crossbow bolts. I'll take that. Book of Reliquaries. This is the forgeries of the reliquaries dating back to the late 13th century, exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard leather. It reads, Doubtless many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the tithe, resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside the region to their... Eosis? What? And thus become more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous Thibon flute of... I don't know how to say that... of being forgeries deceive the righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. Alright. Thanks for letting us know that they're all fake. <laughs> we'll explore more there later. Um, there's the podium. Yeah, I know it's locked. Oh, that's the old tower key, no wonder. There we go. It's the diary page. Diary Brother Andrew. I have finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage to see the Hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in, the war in our world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it is in Amiens. And little did he know. Yes, old tower. Well, fucking rest in peace. Hang on. Let me get the torch out. Die already. <laughs> That's miserable. Alright. Let me... Let me get the crossbow. Then we will enchant it with... Oh, don't do that. Alright, now we need to back off and reload. Farewell, beast. Um, take the torch. Oh, I guess he can't finish him off. That's okay. Um, in that case, let's use... L11. There we go. Now we'll be regenerating for a hot minute. You all right? Scroll of age paper sits on the dusty altar top. It seems to have been discarded. Ah, the shield spell. Protect self. So shield's pretty good. <gasps> oh 
Oh no! It's Anthony! Anthony! No! I have to kill you! I'm sorry. There you go. Basically get like three counter hits on him. Take our crossbow back. Try and reload real quick. Ouch. Oh my god, that's tearing, bro. Alright, reload. Yeah, see that damage over time? It's pretty cool. Taking damage over time. He's strong, I'll give him that. Alright, let's cast shield again. Oh, our thingy ran out. Um, do I have time to cast shield? Perfect. Die already, Anthony. Let's get chant item. Let's try shooting him in the arm. Yeah, dang. It took forever. So alive. I thought he was finished. All right, we're out of it. <laughs> Can I not kill him?
Alright, I'm starting to think he can't die. Let's put, um... Let's put enchant item on the torch. The item cannot be enchanted. Okay. Let's go back to shielding then. Uh... I thought when he fell down earlier that we were going to beat him, but perhaps not. What is he doing? He's like stuck or something. Try a red shield. Try a green shield. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Why won't he die? Alright, let's try and trap him inside of... Let's see. Let's try and trap him inside of... Uh, damage field? So, let's run up behind him. Wait for him to swing. Go ahead. Alright. Now... Damn. Not far enough. There we go. Well, Anthony is finally free. Got a ruby. And we got the sword, hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Sorry, Anthony. Thank you for your sacrifice, though, my friend. Hell yeah, we got the two-handed sword back! Oh, but we could only wield it with one hand? Oh, because we're a monk, not a warrior. Lame! Okay. That was fun. All right, Anthony. Rest in peace, my friend. Okay. This is where that monk originally died. His body's long since decayed. Or been removed. Something to that effect. My sanity and magic. Okay. Up this way. Oh, hello. Rest in pepperonis. Oh, <laughs> he does like a triple attack. A sheet of music lies upon the bookshelf. One wonders what it sounds like. Salmon. Hey, we found another diary page. Diary page 2. Suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude on such little notice, but I must confess that the preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayer or worship are demonstrated by this strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all. 
let alone being under the auspices of the Grand Inquisition. Perhaps it is my na naivety of, the, of our faith. There are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps Amiens is merely more eccentric than others. Hold up. Hold up. I saw an examine. No. Nothing interesting. Alright, well we got the music so we can go play the organ now. Let's take a look at the music, actually. A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. Oh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Paul's jamming out, man. Oh, hell yeah. Five point circle. Which is very good. Um, oh, we can start doing some shenanigans. Tabernacle is almost empty. There are none of the things that should be there, such as holy water and other ritualistic items. Only a circle of power lying on the lower shelf. Only a circle of power? Oh yeah, baby. Paul's acquired a five-point circle of power. Now each of the three-point spells can be powered up by using the power rune. Nice. Gotten almost all the runes. New spell. News. Actually, if I go to spell list, chant item, can I not use? Oh, do I have to discover it? Okay. I use. Item. Hey, what are the runes that go into... Hold up. It takes... And Torbok and Magamor. Um... Nothing. <laughs> okay. I'll experiment with that a little bit later. I gotta remember some of the higher level spells. Now, we already went in this room, right? Yeah. Some more crossbow bolts. Bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. It requires an expert hand and attention to keep it working in order. Oh man, I should have came and got this before fighting Anthony. A steel mace is mounted on the back wall by means of a display armature. Derp. How does the mace fill with him? Better than the two-handed sword. Wasn't enough room to get away. Alright, that's fine. We'll just leave. No problemo.
Knocking on this cask results in a hollow thud. It is empty, but why when all the others are full of maturing wine? Now we are safe. Anything else in here we need to do? I don't think so. What are we at on the map? Right underneath. Okay. Ah, okay. A red horror. Which we are blue, so... Let's do... Two things. Well, enchant. Mantarok. Yeah, I see you. You're casting your little spell. Okay. So now, I'd also like to... Use... 11. Damn, that hit me. Ouch. Hit him! Sir. I'm gonna die. That sucks. I think we have to reload all the way back from our last save point. Ah, that's cool, though. Cool little death scene. Oh my god, do I really have to redo all of that? I hope not. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pause and catch back up to where we were. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> it didn't take too long. I just sort of sped around through that shit. Um, let's actually have a a decent plan this time, unlike last time. We could use crossbow. I think also what would help is if we put shield up first, like, come on, dude, duh. Um, we'll put Mantarok's shield up. Let's enchant this with Mantarok. Oh, sorry. Um, do we want to use the mace? Not really. It has a really slow... Or, or sorry, a really small... Um, attack area. Well, let's enchant the crossbow with Antron. We're strong against this red guy in any case. So now when we go in, I'm going to try a damage field of Mantrock just to see what that does because I'm genuinely curious if it will protect us from all of the alignments. Let's see. Let's see if it does or not. Sure does. Nice. Magic OP. <laughs> yeah. Against uh, a monk with no HP, it's probably better to have a a plan. Finish him off. Claim your sanity. All right, so now we can put all the gems in there. Okay. It's a sapphire. Ruby and the emerald. Very nice. Get out of here. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay, hell yeah. There's the last rune. Rune of power. Alright, let me just... I don't think I'm gonna get it off. Nope. Well, they're all trapped inside, that's fine. Oh, you guys gonna blow up? Okay. You guys do that. <laughs> I'm going to... Happen to spell 12. Oh, right, I gotta rediscover it. That's fine, we'll do that later. Um, now we'll recover all of our resources. This can be really good if you're like trapped inside a damage shield surrounded by enemies. Um, oh look, it's one of these moving busts. What are you doing in here? This isn't your time period. But now that we have the power rune, which I don't think it knows what it is, um, we can believe we use item object there we go a stronger enchantment for items um we can do that with let's put this on our quick spell actually um spell list chant item oops i don't want to do that to assign this to right. There we go. And then let's also make a Mantarok recovery spell, which was what? Self. Absorb, maybe? Yeah, okay. We go to recover, sign that to the Manta Rock to the top. Then we'll make a better region spell. It should be area self power power. No? Okay. Area absorb. No, oh, that's reveal invisible. <laughs> I don't think we need that. Hold on. Let me see. What was this one? Access spell are unknown. Get. Try it again. I think it was... Is it really not area self? Can I just not make a higher level region spell? Hold on. Let me try this. Self. Area. No, it's really not. Alright, let me figure this out real quick. Okay, there we go. I'm dumb. It was, um... I'm an area. So now... <laughs> let's assign this. To left. And then... I might as well put shield on there too. Um, new spell, which was... I guess I don't even need to do that to it, because it's not a new spell. Oh yeah, it is for five points, okay. We'll do power power... 
shield protect so there we go and then we can assign this to down there so now I believe a higher level regen will just make it last longer Cool. So the shield for that gives you five instances of damage reduction. Oh, one cool thing about the Mantrox shield. It stops all types of attacks. Sanity, magic draining, etc. So it's pretty giga versus like horrors and, and such. Also the Mantrox enchant item is effective against all three alignments. All right, looks like green won. That's kind of expected. Our shield just wore off. That, or he dispelled magic. Could be that. Effigy of a monk reclining on a sacrificial altar, a deep groove bisects its chest. The monk's face looks almost exactly like the custodian. Only when thy friend is sacrificed, when his cries fill the air, will the great doors be open to thee. Oh my god. I don't want to kill him. He's our good friend. Should we though? Um, I don't think we even can yet anyways. We can't like use... Any of the weapons. Guessing this is the room? Yeah, okay. That's the way we came in. Let's go over this way. Hello. Nerd. Yeah, you see that? Whenever your shield's up, you don't even take psych damage from them seeing you. Which is pretty cool. Ta-da! You can actually kind of see that they take a little bit of damage themselves whenever they try and um, do that to you. Spread the proof of the heresy within this dark cathedral, a table bears arcane documents. Diagrams and sigils pertaining to demonic craft are scattered across the recently used table. Useless crossbow bolts. More arcane documents. Yes, we shall push the shelf in. Hello? Refresh our shield. Another diary page. With a shudder, my heart turned to ice. I came to the brutal realization that the entire order were heretics, and I was in an incredible jeopardy. Who knows how long they had kept their dark secret? masquerading as custodians of the Hand of Jude, when in fact they guarded a damnable relic, the essence of the unholy Zhel Latov, and used it to lure potential victims to their hideous sacrifice. I felt sick, and despite my faith, I felt intense fear and hopelessness. I knew that I must escape this place before they suspect my knowledge, I must warn the world and notify the real Inquisition of their presence. 
knowing death is just around the corner and fearing every moment, I commit these words to paper. Augustine will find this book. I will remove certain pages and hide them so that all who may follow might discover the truth before it is too late. Grab this. There we go. Just basically telling you about the power runes, but we already know about that, so... Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Um, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so now... If I remember correctly, we have to go all the way back. I think we have to go back to the bell tower now, maybe? I know we at least gotta go back upstairs. And then guess what? We're gonna come all the way back. <laughs> Downstairs again. Just gotta be careful of... I think there's still one trapper left in here. I didn't kill him earlier. Oh yeah. By the way, now that we have... Um, the the five point circle we can summon other mana, uh, creatures too like zombies unfortunately mantrock doesn't have any summons because he got like bound by pious before any of the characters that we were playing learned how to use magic unfortunately so he doesn't he doesn't have any like summons and the like that he can conjure forth. Um, why is the camera different? Okay. Go back to the tower, please. Yeah. Oh yeah, this time when I fought Anthony, I got the maze first. And then I put up that damage shield, and the fight was over in, like, a minute. I was kind of mad at myself. I was like, why am I not strategizing better for these fights? And embarrassing myself in this video. But, you know, it is what it is. A little humility never hurt anyone. Hello. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal, and it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Claiming that the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude, was stored here, he had those who came to see it murdered. The Hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morning. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther, for that's all you have. Not exactly. And now he's gone. Yippee! Well, you know what that means. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? I don't have 
time to play with you. I'm busy. God dang, that's loud. Uh, the only downside to the higher level spells is that they do use quite a bit of mana. So it can be a little difficult if you're like being bombarded to keep up all of your spells properly. Although in that case, you probably just put up a Mantrock damage shield. Oh, hello. You're not a... Protect from trappers. It does not. <laughs> Alright, now we just gotta wait for purple. Purple, I say. Purple. 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 Okay, there is no purple. So, we need to take blue. Press forwards. Get out of the way. There we go. Out of the trapper dimension. Don't do it. Sneaking away. Run, you fool, run! <laughs> Alright. More enemies, so we're just gonna ignore them. Put our shield back up. I do have to take out this one, I guess. Bye bye. Alright. Fortunately, it is time. Wait, so how do I get in this door? Hold up. Alright, I guess maybe we just come back here. Um... Is it this door? Not that door. No, it must have been this door. <laughs> My brain's already forgot where we're going. Oh, um... A barrier, huh? Let's use... Spell magic. Oh, we're gonna have to make a new one. Hold up. What were the spells in this one? Netflix and Red Gamora? Okay. Netflix. Red Gamora. Power power. Yes. Spell list. Spell magic. Pass. Very good. Oh, our shield's down. Let's get that back up. Oh. Here's the poor custodian that we murdered. Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian, Paul's only ally in his fight against the darkness. His soul, no doubt, lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken, watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse. 
Feeling all hope escape him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone, alone against the darkness. You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy, when he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mine, in the name of our true lord, Ulyov. Come, my children, feast on this morsel, and let us return to our preparations. Yeah, yeah, bring on your bone, please. We're not afraid of these punks. Although my shield went down, I don't have enough power. Okay, that's fine. I like how Mantra, or every attack, like, <laughs> you just hear, um, is growling or whatever, it's kind of weird. Oh, okay, that's how we get in there. Derp. I thought maybe there was like a puzzle or something we needed to do, but I guess not. <laughs> This door is decorated. I'm sorry, is decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Yes, we should. The Guardian. This is the one that seeks to do combat with me. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him. Ourselves. Rest in peace, Paul. If I am to guard this place, then I will do it as I see fit. Be gone and leave me, and I will guard the 
an artifact, as you have instructed. Guardians don't, uh... Don't do exactly what you tell them to, like all the other ones, I guess. Or the greater Guardians, at least. Alright. Well, that was Paul's story. Thanks for, uh... Watching through with our little monk friend. We'll start the next episode... Or chapter, rather, in the next video. Uh, and we'll read this note, too. Thanks, you all, for hanging out with me, and I... We'll see you next time.